Meteorologist Sophia Bliss. First, though, a beautiful Idaho sunset from Kristen Trout to get your week started off right. People really excited to see that sun go down at night over the weekend because it meant things were going to cool down a little. Oof, yeah, right. It was so oppressively hot over the weekend in many spots and especially yesterday where a lot of those valley highs were in the triple digits. But we are getting a little bit of relief today. A cool front is working through right now and you can see on our radar where that is and that's going to continue to move across Idaho throughout the day today and it's also creating a lot of lightning. You can see as it moved through the Treasure Valley, the leading edge of this, that a lot of the lightning has now since moved off into the Boise Mountains. And so we're going to expect that pattern to continue and I think things will really pick up in the West Central Mountains around nine o'clock or so. But then as we go to throughout the later morning hours, we're going to expect that to continue to shift to the southeast very slowly, and it's going to slow down and reach the Magic Valley area by around four o'clock. And I think around that time we continue to see the chance of some isolated thunderstorms this afternoon and evening, and those would produce some gusty winds and some lightning. But you can see after that we do expect the clearing to continue. So we're right back to the sunny and hot pattern right after this cool front. So it's just a, a little bit of a brief break for us. But we talked about those high temperatures from yesterday. You can see where some of those highest ones were. Twin Falls 100 degrees, 105 in Boise and the warmest one across the area 106 in Mountain Home. However, I'll clarify for Boise, it made it all the way to 105.8. So almost 106 degrees, very close. And that made it the third day of in 2023 that we have seen above 100 degrees. And that's well above the average of 94 degrees that we would typically see for this time of year and even towards the end of this month, end of July, the high temperature average for Boise is 95 degrees. So for Magic Valley today, I think some of that Again, those shower chances and possible thunderstorm chances are going to be closer to around four o'clock as that cold front, cool front starts to shift through. But as we go towards the central mountains, I think that's going to be a little bit on the earlier side. And uh, the mountain areas are going to be the highest likelihood places that we see this moisture make it all the way to the ground because it's a good amount of moisture, but it's really hot and dry at the surface. So I think in valley locations, again, it's going to have a hard time making that moisture all the way to the ground, but you likely will see it falling out of the cloud but again, just maybe won't make it to all the way to the surface. So today we have a, are expecting a high of 95 degrees. Tomorrow will be the coolest day that we see all week at a toasty 93 degrees. Temperatures will start to warm up more on Wednesday. And then as we go into the later part of the week, the heat really kicks in. But Justin, at least today and Tuesday are going to be a little bit cooler and breezier. Ah, you're not going to distract me with Monday, Tuesday. I see that 105. All right, Sophia, thank you.